they're called trilobites. Trilobites because their bodies were in three sections. Here on this slab there are several of them. That's the head, there's the middle bit and there's the tail. One, two, three. Trilobites. Trilobites at this particular time, right at the beginning of the Cambrian, began to proliferate into all sorts of forms. These creatures for the next 250 million years were probably the most advanced forms of life on this planet. Trilobites moulded their external skeletons into an almost unbelievable variety of shapes. And that enabled them to colonise a great variety of habitats just as modern arthropods still do today. There are about 50,000 different trilobite species that we know of, and doubtless there are still many more to be discovered. Their hard exoskeletons not only ensured their abundance in the fossil record, they also tell us a lot about their owners' lives. The trilobites did almost everything you possibly can do with an exoskeleton. I think that skeleton was what gave them an advantage. They were protected. They could do all kinds of interesting things. They could grow spines. They could get flat like pancakes. They could protect themselves by getting thick exoskeleton with pobbles all over it. It was a great advantage to them, just as it is to crabs and lobsters living today, which of course weren't around in the, at the time of the trilobites. So they utilised the virtues of having a tough exoskeleton uh, to radiate into all kinds of ecological niches. There is no question that an exoskeleton gave the trilobites protection, but it also gave them something else of great value. There must have been many reasons why trilobites were so successful, but one of them unquestionably was their power of sight. They had eyes, not just eye spots that could tell the difference between light and dark, but complex eyes that could form detailed pictures of their surroundings for the first time in the history of life. Eyes like these. Most animals on Earth today have eyes of one kind or another. Most are made from soft tissue, as ours are. But trilobite eyes are unique. Their lenses are derived from their mineralized external skeleton. They're made of rock. Each one of these little dots is a lens, and each is made from calcite, a crystalline form of chalk. Trilobites were, without question, the most successful animals of their time. They flourished in all parts of the ocean. Indeed, they could be counted as one of the most successful kinds of animals in the entire history of life. Most trilobites are quite small, rather like beetles are today. But the biggest living beetle is about that big, the Goliath beetle. Trilobites, on the other hand, grew very big indeed, like this one. And this is by no means the biggest. Uh, the biggest known is nearly a metre, nearly three feet long. And it's thought that these really big ones grew to this size because they lived in cold waters. And that's a tendency of animals in cold to grow large. And at the time that these rocks were laid down, Africa, where we are now and where these are found, was down by the South Pole. <laughs> 